Right then, this is the last bit of little bit of video really now. I've not done, I haven't been, as far as I know, I haven't been down this little track here. I don't think I have. I know I haven't been up here. I've been, it's a little track I've been meaning to do. It's going to take me down to Holford Green. Just thought I saw a gravestone then. It'd be a nice place to have one, wouldn't it? These pine trees here. Yeah, there is a type of stone over there. I'll go and have a look at that. They're almost like they're in memorial, aren't they? These they have they build memorials out of pillars sometimes. Yeah, the weather's changed. It's getting a bit dark now, so we've probably done this at the right time. I don't expect many people are allowed to put stone out here though. Look, shape of a heart as well. These trees were planted to commemorate the men and women of Holford and Kilve who served in the war 1939 to 1945. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look, and all these stones that probably had more colour once. Of poppies and um, lost their colour, look. Mainly poppies, surrounded by poppies and perhaps a butterfly. Oh, isn't that a good idea? They do look they do look new, but there's a couple that have lost their lives. Maybe they chop one down. I don't know. Ah. Oh. I just gotta turn off for a minute while I take a picture of that grave. Right, I'm back on again. These trees, they do stand out when you're walking all over the hills. You can see these, they're like a reference point. Something to home in on. There's Dalborough Hill Fort over there and the um, Woodland Hill and the ancient wood over there. Right over you've got um, the Dead Woman's Ditch and all the walks across the top of the Quantocks there. Higher hair and nap there with um, a pile of stones on it. And then you've got this over the of Foxton Park area of the... Um, area and uh, someone's, someone's sort of laid some flowers there maybe each tree was planted with a person in mind there's a few that have been cut down as well this one's looking unstable now but somebody's put some there look for somebody it's nice isn't it that and perhaps it, they decorated it more once with some stones you know each person might have thought about um, having a... Wow, look at that mushroom there with its stalk. Yeah, so now we're learning something more. That these trees that I've seen for ages associate with Old Fox and House were actually planted in memory of the people of Holford who served in the Second World War. I thought they were symbolic. There was something about them standing here like this. But then like, you see the people who owned the manor house, off, those sort of people often had tall trees. Now, Smith's Coombe have also got a clump of very, very tall pine trees. And I just wonder if they've got any significance somewhere as well, as well as these. Maybe they'll just plant more if, as, if they do start falling. Maybe they will plant fresh ones. <sighs> Otherwise you're just going to end up with a load of stumps, aren't you? Because, I mean, if you think about it, they're about 70, 80, 80 years old um, if these were planted. That's how, how old they are. 70 or 80 years old. So of Holford and Kilve, and Kilve as well. Yeah. It's 
very quiet here. It's a nice place. It is a nice place. Beautiful views. Beautiful. It's a good place. Rather than be in the deep dark wood somewhere. Yeah, it's nice. Standing together. Yes, I like it. I'm carrying on my journey down now. I know we, there's a path that you can follow that takes you, um, we, which I might have done. I might have had another path that I took once, closer to the wood there, and then went down. But I know I haven't been past those trees and seen that before. So that is good, isn't it? I've just got to stop again to take a picture from here. That 